epic dip platter. I grilled two ears of corn and I just finished slicing the kernels off of the second ear. And I'm gonna get the kernels into a bowl. So that's the corn and now I'll make the dip base, which is really creamy, rich and flavorful. I'm using a little food processor and I have some cream cheese along with sour cream. Let's see if I can fit this into this little food processor. And some lime juice, just to give it some zip and interest. And three different spices. Some cumin, not too much of anything. Paprika. And cayenne, which is really nice. It gives the corn dip some nice spice. I'm also gonna add some hot sauce, which adds heat, but it also gives it some extra flavor. Salt and pepper, of course and a pile of green onions. Talk about flavor. And then I'll get the lid on and mix this together and then I have some more things to add. So far, so good. Now I'm really gonna up the game here. I have three different cheeses. So I just added Monterey Jack queso fresco that's crumbled and cheddar now I'm gonna let the teeny tiny food processor do all the work. Okay, I think that looks great. This dip has great texture and you don't have to over mix it. it if it's a little bit lumpy and you can see little shards of grated cheese, then even better. So I will scrape this magnificent cheesy, creamy, spicy mixture into the corn. This is such an amazing dip. Okay, got my little serving bowl. Delicious. And then I'll garnish with whatever I have left on the board. Some more queso fresco, a little green onion, and some cheddar cheese. Oh, Okay, that is the corn dip. It looks so good. I'm putting the roasted corn dip right in the center. I've got chips, veggies, peppers, pickles. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is dip number two. It's green goddess dressing and the processor does all the work. I threw in half a cup each of fresh parsley leaves, fresh dill, and sliced chives. Then I added a tablespoon of tarragon, the juice and zest of a lemon, a minced garlic clove, some salt and pepper, two medium diced avocados, a cup of mayonnaise, and a cup of sour cream. I turned on the processor, kept going until it was deliciously smooth, then tipped it into a bowl, making sure to get every last out of this world drop. Okay, and then this is dip number three. I think I saved the best for last. It looks simple, but boy, is it incredible. This one is whipped feta. All I needed was my processor, a cup of Greek yogurt, a cup of crumbled feta, four ounces of softened cream cheese, and a splash of heavy cream. I processed it until it was smooth and creamy and scraped it into a bowl, disciplining myself not to eat it. Then just garnished it with some dill sprigs. You seriously have to try this. 